Hey everybody, we're talking about Azol pigs and election time in Texas. Uh, these Azol pigs uh, assaulted me and falsely imprisoned me and gave me one of their satanic citations under their ecclesiastical so-called law. See the Azol pigs or pigs in Azol Texas videos one, two, and three. It also could be called Leos in Azol Texas uh, because YouTube was giving me a, a harassing me. These Satanist pigs held their show trial in their kangaroo so-called court, forged my signature onto their so-called contract, and issued a KPS. I filed a revocation of signatures and a notice of void judgment, and both of them have mysteriously disappeared. Why should that be a surprise? These people are Satanists. A KPS is a writ of process formally of two sorts. One is before judgment and one's after. Basically, that's what that says. That's Tomlin's Law Dictionary, 1835 edition. If you want to read it, pause the video. Uh, there's uh, the capius ad satisfaciendum is the one that we're talking about here. It's a judicial writ of execution which issues out of a record of a judgment. It's after the show trial, and it says uh, by this writ, uh, the sheriff is commanded to take the body of the defendant in execution and keep him safely so that they have his body in court to satisfy the plaintiff his debt and damages. It's a debt instrument. They forge your signature onto a contract so they can assault you. They hold a kangaroo court and assault you. That's that's exactly what these pigs do. Uh, and a capius is not a warrant of arrest. And uh, But what happens under uh, Texas Code of Criminal Procedure, um, oh, this is actually Texas Code of Criminal Procedure, talks about capiuses too. That's the only thing they ever issue. Capius means a writ that is issued by a court having jurisdiction of a case over judgment and sentence directed to any peace officer of the state of Texas commanding the officer to arrest a person convicted of an offense in their show trial and bring the person, uh, uh, drag them into their kangaroo court. And uh, it's issued by a court, uh, uh, well, there's a capius pro fine, and then there's a, the capius. And basically, it's talking, it's the same sort of stuff. Anyways, um, so there's no lawful warrants. It's always a capius. And these pigs go and issue their capius, and under their Texas Code of Criminal Procedure, it says... Uh, this is what um, article uh, evidence not to be used, Article 38.23. Uh, no evidence obtained by an officer or other person in violation of any provision of the Constitution or laws of the state of Texas or constitutional laws of the United States of America shall be admitted in evidence against the accused on the trial of any criminal case. Oh, that sounds so pretty, doesn't it? You know, these, these lying bar members go and put that shit in there, and then they put in paragraph B. And paragraph B says, it is an exception to the provisions of paragraph A of this article that the evidence was obtained by a, a pig acting with an objective good faith reliance upon a warrant issued by a neutral magistrate based on probable cause. So, good faith. Okay, they know that these warrants are a fraud and they want that pig to go out and assault people. That's exactly what they want. And here's the pigs, the Azel pigs, in their kangaroo court. This Andrew Vogel is the, is the, uh, the remember, when, a, when a, a judge is acting as a clerk in statute, okay, because it's always statutes, the judge is a clerk, that's Hudman the whore, and, and, and Vogel, he bought Hudman. Okay, he's the prosecutor. Hudman's bought and paid for by Vogel. It's a kangaroo court. That's the Azel pigs. And there's the mayor, okay? That's the cheap pig in Azel. And remember all you people out there, all you voters, okay? It's voting time. These pigs, if you vote for them, then you get the, judge, the government you deserve, okay? These are the pigs that are running Azel right now. There he is. There's a good close-up picture. He lives over on uh, Sportsman Park Drive, right next to a good friend of mine used to live at 924 Sportsman Park Drive. That was a good friend of mine in Azel, and he died. And, uh, and this guy's the neighbor. Anyways, and then there's the pigs, the pig department. Rick Pippins, the chief pig. Okay. Um, yeah, it says here. If you read this, 
says, let's get in closer. Says these women, men and women are carefully selected. Yeah, they give them all sorts of tests. And they don't want anybody that's intelligent. They want hired thugs. They want order followers. Rick Pippins is the chief pig. We're committed to our mission to remain eternally, eternally vigilant in our service to the citizens of Azol. Oh, doesn't that sound so pretty while they're sticking a knife in your back? Oh, and get a load of this. It says that police department values. Okay, look at that where I got it underlined. They want to take responsibility for their actions and be willing to admit their mistakes. Whoa, that wasn't what that fucking pig told me when I went down to see him about this ticket. And how his pigs had assaulted me, he said, you know what he said? He said, they should have put you in jail. That's exactly what he said. The chief pig and easel. Anyways, there's here's the, the ringleaders of the criminal enterprise called Azel. And it's uh, Alan Brundrett, who's the mayor, the mayor pro tem, Bill Jones, council member, William Chambers, David McClure, Paul Crabtree, Raul Rothenberger, and Lee Barrett. And we're going to go and look at pictures of these pigs right now. There's William Chambers, Okay. And here is David McClure, and here's Bill Jones, and here's Paul Crabtree, and here's Raul Rothenberger. And these pigs are the ones that are running the criminal enterprise called Azel. It is well documented that real peace officers are being fired to, uh, for objecting to having quotas imposed upon them. There's YouTube videos about it. It's well documented that these Satanist pigs, like in Azel, Texas, screen out intelligent people during the testing process before hiring is done. And this is actually a court case. They screen out intelligent people uh, uh, in the hiring process. They have a test. And uh, Jordan versus City of New London. It's the U.S. Court of Appeals for the Second Circuit. Look it up. Robert Jordan had a master's degree and scored too high on their test. He was too intelligent. I know several people who are not hired for these kinds of positions because they scored too high in their test. They don't want anybody with brains. They want order followers. They want Satanists. This is an ABC News article. Uh, let's see, it says September 8, 2000, so it's been a few years. A man whose bid to become a police officer was rejected after he scored too high on an intelligence test has lost an appeal with the whores in the federal courts, the Satanist whores that are selling their justice. These pigs are cowards. See Mark Passio's video about order followers. That's not me saying it. Mark Passio's saying it. These pigs violated my rights under the color of their so-called laws as found in their Title 18 United States Code, Section 242. And these pigs, havens, and stutzmen at a minimum conspired to violate my rights under the color of their laws in violation of their Title 18 United States Code, Section 241. And uh, if I thought I would get some justice, I'd drag their butt into the into the federal courts. But they're not interested in justice. They're interested in selling things. These pigs are impersonating peace officers. This is uh, Title 40, uh, 18, 242. Whoever under the color of any law, statute, ordinance, regulation, or custom willfully subjects any inhabitant to any state, territory, commonwealth, position, or district to the deprivation of any rights, privileges, or immunities to protect, secured, or protected by the Constitution or laws of the United States shall be fined or, uh, fined or imprisoned not more than a year. Yeah, they don't want to put these pigs in jail too long. They want them back out so they can do it again. And this is at 241, conspiracy. If two or more persons conspire to injure, uh, oppress, threaten, or intimidate any person, uh, in the free exercise or enjoyment of any right or privilege secured to him by the laws or constitution of the United States, uh, they shall be fined or imprisoned not more than 10 years. Yeah, they don't want to put them in jail too long either. They want them back out on the street so they can do it some more. 
unlawful restraint. This is under the Texas Code. Uh, that's the Texas Penal Code. I forgot to put that in there, but it is the Texas Penal Code. A person commits an offense if he intentionally knows he restrains another. An offense under this section is a Class A misdemeanor. It's no offense to affect a lawful arrest, but it wasn't a lawful arrest. These pigs were operating in their private capacity as revenue officers under the Federal Tax Lien Act of 1966. Official impression. A public servant acts under color of his office or employment, commits an offense if he intentionally subjects another to mistreatment or to arrest detention uh, uh, that he knows is unlawful. That's what these pigs did. For purpose of this servant uh, section, a public servant acts under color of his office or employment if he acts or purports to act in an official capacity. Yeah, he wasn't in his official capacity. He was in his private capacity. That's exactly what was happening because they're operating under the Federal Tax Lien Act of 1966 and they unlawfully arrest you. Misuse of official information. This is uh, commits an offense with intent to obtain benefit with no harm. Um with intent to harm, okay? So uh, you uh, use their official information to go and search their database for uh, 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 your, your name, okay? That hearsay database, and that's a felony. Failure to identify a person. That's what they assault you with, okay? That's what these pigs assault you with right here. And it's failure to identify. A, a person commits an offense if he intentionally refuses to give his name, address, or date of birth to a peace officer who has lawfully arrested him. While there was no lawful arrest, those pigs, I, I turned around and left. These pigs, it was an assault. Impersonating a public servant. This is uh, uh, um, a person commits an offense if he impersonates a public servant to, with uh, with intent to induce another to submit to his pretended official authority. That's exactly what they're doing. They had a military uniform. They had their peace officers uniform, but they were operating in their private capacity as revenue officers under the Federal Tax Lien Act. Combination. Okay, that's organized crime. That's exactly their textbook. A bunch of racketeering enterprise. Combination means three or more persons who collaborate in carrying on criminal activities. Conspires means a person agrees with one or more persons that they are more engaged in conduct that would constitute that the offense, and that person has one or more of them perform an overt act in pursuance of the agreement. A criminal street gang, this is a criminal street gang, means three or more persons having common identifying sign or symbol or identifying leadership who continuously and regulate associate in the commission of criminal activities. That's the Azel Pigs. Engaging in organized criminal activity, uh, a person commits an offense with intent to establish, maintain, participate in a combination or profits from a combination as a member of a criminal street gang. The person commits or conspires to commit one or more of the following. Murder. Well, you know, they murder people all the time. You see it on TV every day. Aggravated robbery. That's armed robbery with a gun. with a, And they do that every day. While they may not rob you, they drag you into their jail and let their, their whore masquerading as a judge do that. Aggravated kidnapping. Aggravated assault. Class C misdemeanor. They don't want them to get, they want them to get back out and do it again. Directing activities of criminal steep gangs. A person commits an offense is if the person is part of the identifying leadership. Gee, that sounds like Pippin's the cheap pig. Knowingly finances, directs, supervises the commission of or conspiracy to commit one or more of the following offenses by members of the criminal street gang. And here, this is defenses that are excluded. One or more members of the combination are not criminally responsible for the object offense. That don't matter. So this, those, the, 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 the other pigs can sit there and say, well, he did it, I didn't. Well, that doesn't cut it. One or more members of the combination have been acquitted, have not been prosecuted or convicted. Well, that don't matter either. 
Once the initial combination or three or more persons is formed, there's a change in the number or identity of persons or combination. As long as two or more persons reign in the combination are involved in a continuing course of conduct uh, constituting an offense under this chapter. So, you get the government you deserve. And this is directed at all the people in Azel, but everybody needs to think about this. Uh, uh, it's election time, and uh, it's election season, and these Satanist pigs are looking for you to vote for them and put them back into office. You need to be asking them some very pointed questions about their pigs. If you vote for them, you will be held accountable for the abominations they commit on Judgment Day, and I'll be there. Okay, when it comes to these azel pigs, I'll be there. If you do not circulate this far and wide, then you'll be responsible for getting them elected. They have blocked my emails as a blacklisted website ooh, 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 because they want to try and suppress this information. We already know they're Satanists. And this is a, an example of an email that was returned. And it says, blacklisted domain. Oh, okay. And so they don't want their 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 code enforcers and their, their hired thugs, because I had about 50 email addresses that I was sending this to, and they don't want them finding out about their criminal activity. They want them to get away with it. The important thing to understand here is never give up. It's never over, pigs. It's never, ever over. We'll be talking about this on Judgment Day, pigs. I know thy works and tribulation. I know the blasphemy of them that say they are Jews or Christians and are not, but are the synagogue of Satan. If ye love wealth better than liberty, the tranquility of servitude better than the animating contest of freedom, go home from us in peace. We ask not your counsel or arms. Crouch down and lick the hands which feed you. May your chain set lightly upon you, and may our posterity forget that you are ever our countrymen. It behooves every man who values liberty of conscience for himself to resist invasions of it in the case of others, or their case may, by change of circumstances, become his own. Jefferson was probably one of my favorite founding fathers. When shall it be said in any country of the world, my poor are happy, neither ignorance or distress is to be found among them, my jails are empty of prisoners, my streets of beggars, the A's are not in want, the taxes are not oppressive, the rational world is my friend because I am a friend of its happiness. When these things can be said, then that country may boast of its constitution and government. Well, we have nothing to boast about here, okay? The jails are full because of these pigs and other ones just like them. The uh, streets are full of beggars. There's uh, homeless people, bag people all over the place. Uh, um, all sorts of stuff is going on. we got a bunch of criminals running the government. And it's about time we, the people, put a stop to it. But if the watchmen see the sword come and blow not the trumpet, and the people be not warned that the sword come and take away, take any person among them, he was taken away in his iniquity. Iniquity, but his blood will I require at the watchman's hand. I don't want to be blameless for the abominations of this generation on Judgment Day, and I hope that you're not. A bl I hope you are blameless as well. Uh, but the choice is yours, and either you're part of the problem, or you're part of the solution. You're now watchman. Circulate this video far and wide. Other videos, Bankster Thieves 1 and 2, 3, Churchianity series about the 501c3 tax-exempt status for the so-called Christians that are actually Satanists, bankrupt corporate so-called governments, bar members 1 and 2, Unidroit, martial laws here, has been for decades. Quasi-contracts and Roman civil law, all courts are ecclesiastical courts, it's the Vatican. D.C. courts in Texas jurisdiction. Copies of these documents can be found on my private group at Yahoo called Administering Your Public Servants. I have YouTube videos that are videos of private information shares to show these and other court citations that are available for a donation. Donations to support this work are appreciated. I prefer gold or silver coin, but as an extremely less desirable alternative, I can accept IOUs, Federal Reserve notes, PayPal gifts, checks, money orders, etc. Send me an email for particulars. This last paragraph is for the Satanist revenue officers that are operating in their private capacity under the Federal Tax Lean Act of 1966. You can take your privileges and benefits and put them up your rectal orifice. I prefer gold or silver coin, okay? I can accept as a less desirable alternative your IOUs, but you can stick your privileges and benefits up your rectal orifice. 
If you find this useful, then you need to pay it forward. If you don't know what pay it forward means, watch the movie. My blog is sovereigntyinternational.wordpress.com. Uh, my website is sovereigntyinternational.fyi. My e email is engineerwin at yahoo. My YouTube profile is Sovereign Living. Um, I've got over 200 videos that I've uploaded, and so uh, if you find this useful, I'm sure you'll find other ones useful. Uh, i got a Facebook community page called Sovereignty International, a private group called Sovereignty International, a Yahoo private group called Administering Your Public Servants, a Google private group called administering your public servants. I hope you uh, got something out of this and I appreciate you taking the time to watch the video and I hope you have a real nice day.